Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? How are you today? How is your day going, guys? I am good. Very good. Very good, Byron. Happy to see that. Happy to hear that. I'm sorry. Very good. Hola, guys. Muy, eh, muy bien. Buenas noches a todos. Eh, muchas gracias por estar acá otra vez. Guys, les agradezco mucho. Eh, ya estamos casi a la mitad de la semana, ¿verdad? Espero que tengan muchos ánimos, que tengan muchas ganas eh, para que podamos eh, aprender cosas el día de ahora. El día de hoy vamos a continuar con el tema que dejamos el día de ayer. Si ustedes se acuerdan, el día de ayer estábamos hablando acerca de el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a continuar. Perdón. Perdón, guys. Ok, de nuevo. Así que vamos a continuar con eso. Eh, solamente permítanme un instante nada más que quiero acá hacer unos ajustes para que ustedes, te, para que tengamos una buena conexión. Solamente denme un momento, guys. Just a second, please. Teacher, no se escucha. Perdón, guys. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for patiently waiting. Um, I apologize. Eh, tengo un botón por acá que es para mute, que a veces lo presiono y a veces tengo que presionarlo dos veces para que se desactive. Entonces, ese es el problema. Así que, perdón por eso. <laughs> okay, guys. So, what I was trying to say is that, uh, well, today we're going to continue with a topic that we started yesterday. If you can remember, guys, yesterday we uh, learned, we had like an introduction uh, to the present perfect, okay? So we were saying that we can use the present perfect for situation that started in the past and it may be connected to the, to the present time, okay? So that is what we said yesterday. And we also said that uh, sometimes when we ask questions, using the present perfect, we are going to answer, uh, we are going to give an answer using the present perfect, but then after that, uh, usually we continue the conversation using the simple past, okay? Like for example, uh, we had an example yesterday, like have, have you tried or have you ever tried uh, fried snails, okay? So then we can answer to that. We can say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, and after that, uh, we can give more information about that uh, using the simple past, like, uh, yes, I have. Uh, I tried them last month and they were delicious. We can say something like that, right? So that is what we, that is the introduction that we have yesterday to the topic, okay? Vamos a ver, eh, me gustaría ver si alguien por acá tal vez eh, se acuerda y me puede ir a dar tal vez algunos ejemplos acerca de eso. Vamos a ver, ¿algún voluntario, alguien que quiera participar? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando ayer, guys? Vamos a ver. A ver, alguien que me diga por acá. Necesitamos practicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, quiero que ustedes me digan, que ustedes me digan cosas a mí. Vamos a ver. ¿Se acuerdan, guys? ¿O ya se les olvidó? Ah, creo que se acuerdan. Lo que pasa es que les da pena, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Patricia, ¿quiere decir algo? Patricia, Verónica. Eh, good evening. Eh, good evening. ¿Una oración le tengo que dar? Perdón. Eh, Yes, uh, you can give me an example if you want to, or you can uh, you can explain me what we learned yesterday too. That would be fine. Okay. Um, 
I have been watching TV all morning. Okay, very good. Very good, thank you so much. Okay, Alicia. Good evening, teacher. Good Yesterday, evening. I, I learned when I prepare a, a conversation with other people, mm -hmm. uh, you need to begin uh, present perfect, mm -hmm. and then uh, you use a past, past simple. The simple past. The simple past, uh-huh. And the example, the sentence, I, I have been in United States uh, for three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Alicia, thank you so much, that was really travel. good. Okay, go ahead, Byron. I have lived in San Salvador since 2007. 2007. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your example, Byron. So, yes, we said that uh, this, the present perfect, we can use it for different kind of situations. Uh, for example, when we want to talk about something uh, that has been uh, going on uh, that started at some point in the past and it is still going on uh, into the present, like in the like the example that Byron just uh, gave us. Uh, Byron started, uh, he he moved to his house about, uh, let's say eight years ago, and he is still living in the same place. So he has lived in the same place for eight years, okay? So usually we use expressions like for and since when we use the present perfect, okay? okay? So that is something that is going to uh, give you guys like, um, it's going to give you, it's, it's going to tell you that you need to use the present perfect, okay? When you have expressions like for and since, usually we use the present perfect, okay? Entonces, eh, vamos a ver guys, el día de ahora, eh, ¿En qué situaciones nosotros utilizamos el presente perfecto? ¿De acuerdo? Eh, como estaba diciendo Byron, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros eh, hicimos algo que comenzó en el pasado y que hasta esta fecha todavía es verdad, entonces utilizamos el presente perfecto. Con expresiones como for, eh, since, like I have lived in the same house since 2007. Or I have lived uh, in this house for 20 years. So, ese tipo de expresiones a nosotros nos dicen que nosotros vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto. Entonces, me gustaría mostrarle a ustedes por acá, se los voy a compartir, eh, las situaciones en las cuales nosotros lo vamos a utilizar. Y después, eh, más tarde, guys, vamos a tener un, un eh, espacio para que ustedes puedan practicar. Porque hasta el momento, pues, no hemos podido practicar esta parte, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a practicar eso el día de ahora. All right, guys, so we have... Uh, some situations, I have uh, just some examples that I wanted to show you. So we have uh, situation number one, okay? So number one, permítame un instante, guys, creo que por acá como que está dando problemas esto. Vamos a ver. Vamos a intentar otra pantalla por aquí. Perdón. Bueno. Vamos a... Okay, ahí está. All right, so we have situation number one. Uh, so we are going to use the present perfect. No huh? se ve. Ah, oh, perdón. Didn't watch. ¿Lo puede ver ahora o, o no? Perdón. No, no se ve ahí. Ve. No se ve en este momento. Ok, perdón, guys. ¿Y ahora? No, todavía no. Ok, perdón. No sé qué pasa, oh. pero estoy teniendo un poquito de problemas por acá. Vamos a ver. Voy a intentarlo otra vez, guys. Please bear with me. I'm going to try this one more time. Si te, tengo un pequeño aquí inconveniente con Zoom. Yeah, okay. Parece que se congeló esto. 